Hi, this is Alex with Beaver Sports. It's around noon here in Fairbanks today and it's finally light, which is kind of nice. We're going to do an in-depth review of the Fjall Raven Anorak number 8 today. So before we get into this review, I do have an update on the November giveaway. <laughs> it's massive. Oh. oh my gosh. The winner of that is Karehi101. So we'll track you down and get you your Arcteryx hat. So let's jump into this review. Like I said, I have the Fjall Raven Anorak number 8 on right now. Underneath, this is the Fjall Raven downlight vest and then the Lotta sweater underneath that. All three of these layer pretty well together. Um, I'm wearing a small in all of them. I'm about 5'7 and uh, 150 pounds. Uh, just to give you an idea of sizing and how these are all going to fit together in the Fjall Raven system. So at first glance, this Anorak number 8 seems pretty simple, but there's a lot of moving parts here. There's a lot to this Anorak. Um, it's a really great piece, especially if you're, you know, if you're doing anything where you, durability is a must. This can be layered so well over any kind of down jacket uh, or more fragile pieces to protect them. It adds warmth, it adds wind protection, it adds weather protection. It's just, it's a really great thing to have in your arsenal. So, like I said, there's a lot to it. So we're just gonna go from top to bottom here and kind of go through every aspect uh, that you might not see from the photos online or um, even in person. Sometimes there's some hidden features in this that you might not notice at first. So let's start with the hood. As you can see, the hood is big, very big hood. One of my favorite things about it is it, it can shape it. It has a wider brim on the top so no matter what shape you want your hood to be, it stays that shape. So when Fjall Raven was designing this, they understood that you're not always going to need the hood to be quite this big. So they did put two adjustments on the back of the hood. One cinches up kind of like this, so it tightens up the hood, and the other one can bring it back. So there's a Velcro adjustment there that can bring it back. And this in a really effective way makes the hood a little bit smaller so it's not quite as big especially if you don't have a helmet or you know a big uh, down hood or something on uh, underneath of the anorak hood it's really nice to have that flexibility So if that's how you adjust the hood when you need less weather protection, that raises the question of how do I get more weather protection out of this? Well, Real Raven has you covered. This flap here, it tucks away nicely and, and buttons on the inside of the hood when you don't need it. It can be deployed and it buttons to the other side. In addition, if you want to tighten this up and get even more weather protection, this zipper zips up. So as you can see, with the, the, this front zipped up here and the wire brim kind of cinched up, you can get a lot of weather protection out of this Anorak number eight. Okay. So now I have the, uh, the, the face shield here securely attached to the side of the hood again. You can see it, it stays out of the way really nicely uh, when you don't need it. We'll keep moving down this jacket. Let's talk about pockets next. Now this jacket has two compartments here. Uh, the first one can be accessed from the sides. So you know, from either left or right side of the jacket, there's a big kangaroo pouch in the front. And then there's another kangaroo pouch. If you slide open this top zipper, that can be accessed from the top. So you have two really big compartments here. Um, you can store anything you want. They store gloves really nicely, um, hats, anything you want to store in there to keep them safe and keep them really easily accessible. Uh, these are great for that kind of thing. Another really great feature about these pockets is the zipper pulls. This is kind of a uh, standard on every zipper of this jacket, but you can see that they are big. They're really easy to, to open and close, even with gloves on. Uh, even if you had big mitts on, you'd be able to get a, a thumb and, and the rest of your fingers there and grab them and, and open up the zippers. It's a really awesome feature. I really like the zipper pulls they put on this jacket. And then one little hidden feature about the pocket, if you access uh, from the right side, there is a little space for your phone. So it's kind of hidden in there, but 
this little media pocket here stores your phone uh, so if you don't have pants pockets or any other convenient place to put it this is really easily accessible and you'll always know where your device is now let's talk a little bit more about the different ways this jacket can be configured so moving on to the sides of the jacket each side has a big zipper that goes about halfway up. Now, the reason for this, one, it makes it really easy to take it on and off. So when both of these are zipped all the way up, it's gonna be a lot easier to get this jacket on. It's gonna be a lot easier to take it off. But in addition to that, it adds a little bit more flexibility in terms of you know, how much warmth you're trapping. So if it gets a little bit warmer and you don't need all the weather protection of this zipped all the way down, you have nice big vents now. It's really nice to have that flexibility, especially in springtime, fall time, when it might not be quite as cold. Uh, these side zippers are double zippers. So one other option would be to zip the bottom one all the way down and you can zip this top one, you know, maybe halfway. So you can kind of customize how much venting you're getting. And when you do open up these zippers, you can see right here, there's an adjustment that tightens up around your waist. So you can pull that tight and it's gonna tighten kind of around your waistline. Um, and just obviously with that, you're getting less wind up here. You know, it just is gonna tighten everything up and give you a little bit of a better fit if that's what you're going for. So you have that waist adjustment on either side of the jacket. So you can adjust it from either the left or right side. And there's a couple other places you can make adjustments. One is going to be right down here at the bottom. So you can cinch up the bottom of the jacket if you want to. It's kind of nice. They give you, you know, you can either cinch the waist or at the very bottom uh, of the anorak. It's depending on your preference and the conditions outside at the time. Lastly, the wrists. So there are two snap buttons on each wrist. So you can tighten the, this flap either you know looser or tighter. This is really handy, you know, depending on your gloves, especially you know, if you have undercuff or overcuff gloves, you can make that adjustment and kind of fine-tune the wrist area uh, for how you need it. Like I said, we're moving from top to bottom in this jacket. So the last thing at the very bottom, there is a strap. So this strap right here, it does stow away. So there's a loop. If you don't need it, um, you can loop it around and then it, it buckles to itself to keep it out of the way. Or there's a snap button at the front of the anorak. So that strap will go through your legs and it just keeps everything in place. For those times that you're in really rough conditions, when it's windy, you're post holing and it's just miserable outside, that strap's gonna be really nice to kind of keep this jacket in place, make sure you're not losing any warmth um, it's just a nice additional feature, especially since, you know, this jacket, uh, I keep saying jacket, and uh, just a little bit of added security they put there at the bottom of the jacket, of the anorak. I keep saying jacket, it's an anorak. Uh, this jacket anorak. is made with Fjell Raven's G1000 material. It uses two different kinds, the Eco and the Heavy Duty. So the Eco is used mainly throughout the jacket, but then they reinforced uh, using G1000 heavy duty in key areas. So the sleeves, shoulders, knees and toes, just kidding, but the sleeves, the shoulders, and the lower back here are all G1000 heavy duty. But that would make a nice song for Fjall Raven, don't you think? Sleeves, shoulders, knees and toes. Maybe not. That G1000 fabric, if you're familiar with Fjall Raven products, is probably familiar to you, but just in case, you can wax it. Uh, you know, it's not very common for materials, but um, if you do want to impregnate this with wax, there's a lot of guides online that show you how to do it, and it's going to add a lot of weather protection. If you live in an area where you might see rain, you might see snow, uh, it's probably going to be a good idea to throw a little bit of wax on this jacket. They do come wax from the factory, so it will be a little bit weather resistant uh, when you get it, but you can always add more to it. It's one of the greatest things about Fjell Raven is that customability. I don't know if the sound will come out okay, but I just want to say like this is the most weather protection. <laughs> so it got a little too cold for our camera video, so that our camera video, <laughs> it's too cold for my brain. <laughs> it ended up getting a little too cold for our camera battery. So that's the end of this video, but I hope we covered everything you wanted to know about with the Anorak number eight. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be entered in our December giveaway. And Here's Marcelo and Sam with the results of last month's giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? Marcelo here, Beaver Sports Best Employee. 
We're doing our giveaway of our Knife's Arteryx hat for everyone that subscribed to our YouTube channel in November. So we're going to be doing a blow-up challenge with this balloon. In here we have a bunch of names of everyone that subscribed, and we just need someone to blow it up till it pops. Hey, Sam! Yeah? Get over here. Oh, okay. Alright. What? What do I have to do? Okay, you're going to take the balloon and you're going to blow it up as much as you can until the balloon pops. And I'm going to snatch a name. Come on, I've got this. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Keep going. There's so many things. Mm -hmm. Almost there. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's massive. Oh my god. <laughs> up with the name and the hat you just got. Sweet! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Scared? That was terrifying. Oh, <laughs> Every time I thought it was going to pop and then it didn't. <laughs> Drop my glasses. I think that's the biggest the balloon has ever gotten. Have blown it up. The carnage. Whoa. Sorry everyone that lost. Who's picking that up? Uh, Daniel? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Daniel's working out door today. <laughs> I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if?